what's up so it is currently sunday at 203 p.m and god has me delivering this word to you guys it will be released y'all gonna see this in the morning all right so this prophetic word is titled you are set apart okay you are set apart so listen you are holy you have been set apart by god God has freed you from what and who the devil has used to keep you in spiritual bondage. God wants you to know that you are free, free from defilement. Let me say that again. God wants you to know that you are free, free from defilement. Okay. Um, next thing, scriptural references. So we're going to be first coming from Leviticus chapter 13 through 39. This is the New Living Translation. Listen. Um, and also, you guys, back in the day, what used to happen was when people would have leprosy, which is just um, when they have uh, leprosy is, although it was a physical um, manifestation of a disease, it was really something that started in the spirit. So those individuals that had really corrupt spirits, they ended up having leprosy. For example, when God gave Miriam Aaron, uh, Moses' sister, that after she was like, oh God, why you have him leading the people? Why can't we lead the people? God gave her leprosy, right? And it's because of her spirit. He gave her seven days to be corrected. And if you guys notice, there's a lot of number, a lot of things about seven in the Levit Leviticus chapter, because what happens is when someone is diagnosed with leprosy or someone starts to show the physical representations or manifestations of having leprosy, they have to be examined by the priest. The priest has to figure out one, is this person a uh, whole? Holy or not? What do I mean by holy or not? Is this person defiled or not? Is their soul defiled or not? Right? And so God brought me specifically to Leviticus chapter 13 and 39 affecting, um, referencing you. The priest must examine the affected area. If he finds that the shiny patches are only pale white, this is a harmless skin rash and the person is ceremonially clean. What is God saying to you? You still may have some patches and or things that God is working on you with. But he wants you to know, despite of these shiny patches, you are ceremonially clean. You have been considered holy, AKA set apart. Cause God always uh, isolates. God always makes a clear distinction between things that are holy and things that are not. Um, also referencing my video where I said, God is calling you higher. In that video, God is calling us higher. God is isolating those who are holy from those who aren't because God has specific instructions for you. Right. But let me continue. So what God led me to this for is God, um, is saying that you are ceremonially clean. You have been considered holy. Now, the next part of this word, um, that I'll finish off on will be based on Psalms 91 verses nine through 16. I won't read those verses, but I will read to you the message that God has given me from those. God said that you have made him your most high dwelling and or your refuge. So you have been completely resting and trusting in God, despite anything else that you've seen. This is why he has chosen to purify and sanctify you. God has chosen to set you apart, not because you're trying to seek a relationship with him to get certain things, but you genuinely have a willing heart. You're a willing vessel that he can use. So you are showing, you've shown him that you're faithful to him. And this is why he has chosen to purify and sanctify you. So all the things that you did in the past that may not have been pleasing in his sight, you are clean. Remember, you are free. You are free from defilement. You are free from those things that, and God keeps telling me to look up the meaning of defilement. So y'all, we finna do it right now. Hold on. Defile means to spoil, right? To spoil. So when I think of spoil, I think of fruits because we all are working um, for the kingdom of God. And if you truly are led by God, you will bear the fruits right before in our lives, before we were called, we were spoiled. We were not bearing fruits, at least not in the way that God has called us to. But because you chose God to be your refuge and your most high place, that is why God has chosen to purify and sanctify you. So those things of the past, you are free from those things and people that have spoiled you. 
And what do I mean by spoiled? Not spoiled in a way that, oh, you're special, but spoiled in a way where they have um, kind of taken away from you certain things, taken away your joy, taken away your peace. God says that you are free from that in this hour. And he said, because you have made him your most high dwelling, he's chosen to purify and sanctify you. In this hour, God is saying, because you put me first, I am pulling you to the front of the line. Hear that again. Because you put him first, he is pulling you to the front of the line. Whatever you ask for, ye shall have. It. That's what God made very clear. God said, whatever you ask for, you shall have it because you love me. Again, God said, whatever you ask for, you shall have it. Why? Because you love me. And because we serve a loving God, God has seen your heart. You have been seeking after him, even when you weren't receiving certain benefits. But God is saying you're entering a period where ye shall have it. Whatever you ask for, it says in scripture, whatever we ask for, if we believe that it's ours, then we shall have it. Ye shall have it. Ye shall have it. All right. So I pray that this blesses you and helps you understand that you are set apart. You have been considered holy. Yes, you may have some patches, but out of all of the scriptural references that God could have given me from Leviticus 13, he gives me the specific one in which it states. This person is ceremonially clean. God has rendered you clean. God has cleaned you. God has sanctified you. You are set apart. That's why you can't do the same things you used to be able to do no more. You can't be around the same people no more because you're not the same. You've been set apart. And now that setting apart is what allows your prayers to be answered more effectively and a lot differently. Why? Because God is saying, whatever you ask for, you shall have it. What do you want? Ask for it. God is bringing it in this hour. And God, it's not ironic God had me bring this word right after yesterday when I said God is answering prayers. It may not have worked before. But it will work now. I've made this word long enough. I've had one-on-ones all day. So I am going to rest. I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day.